but this day we are not uh, we are not uh, uh, we are not celebrating women's day but we are recognizing women we want to st- say that we are there by the side of the women uh, who are uh, not so esteemed in some cases who are probably troubled in many cases but we just want to say that we are there with them you know the world treats women as you know how do they say the weaklings right the weaklings or you know sometimes it's like the the ones that are subjected you know not you 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 don't you are you don't subject others but mostly but uh, sometimes the women are subjected you know there are lots of women jokes you know how so in office they always crack jokes about you know um, you know women never use rear view mirror while driving and uh, blah 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 it will just go on and on there are lots of jokes but but you know there is there is um, uh but wo wo uh, i'm i'm not going to give a women's day sermon or something but but i just want to take some few moments before i actually talk to say how special women are but in god's eyes uh there is a verse if you can turn with me to galatians 3:26 You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. You know the Scripture clearly says that all of you are one in Christ Jesus. Especially here, I do not know about many other churches, but here we do not discriminate, saying you are a man and you are a woman. You cannot do this. But we encourage all of you to rise. up to what god has called you to if if you want to know how uh, if you want to know about an ideal woman turn your bible to proverbs 31 go home and read it and and see take every verse i i there was a time that i used to do that i used to take every verse and compare or grade myself on that verse and see how i am do i wake up early in the morning do i do everything do i take care of things do i plan for things ahead of me and uh, you know that, uh, that was a big thing that i want uh, i was always grading myself on and then i i narrowed down to some traits of a godly woman so this is not my actual sermon but i just want to encourage women you know you, you may be living just life uh, as it comes just take life as it comes just live every moment at a time but you know that that really doesn't work because the bible says where there is no vision the people perish you need to know what you are up to you need to know where you're going to you need to know where you're heading otherwise you're going to perish i mean it's for everybody but um, you know um, the first thing about uh, what signifies a godly woman is they would see god first okay if if you are a guard g u a r d guard to your own family stay say you're not married you're you're single or you're married or whatever but god has given you some family right i always say god i don't know how how far but but uh, i want things to pass through me i want to stand in the guard and you know after me it touches my daughter it should go past me to touch my family you know the see god first that's a very beautiful trait of a godly woman always put god first as a family encourage your family to come to worship on time to pray and uh, that's a very good thing and then the next thing that i would uh, say for a god then the next things that i'm going to say are all equal priority this is like the first priority then everything that i am going to say is an equal priority okay so a confident woman is a godly woman okay god did not call you to be frustrated or to have lack of confidence or to feel afraid or to be fearful but god called you to be a confident woman okay a bold woman uh, you uh, you should be confident about what god has blessed you with okay um uh, the, uh, god has blessed you 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 know that you know uh, we had this last week uh, in office they took us and spoke about took us to a good hotel and spoke to us about women and how to empower women blah 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 and you know one girl actually got up and said okay why are you telling this to us we know it can you go and tell to all the men in the office how wonderful women are and you know they, they didn't know what to say but uh, uh, you know they were talking about how confident a woman has to be but but i believe that you know 
uh, it's not very easy for the worldly people but it's very easy for the godly people because you have so many promises in the word of god god said that i will never leave you nor forsake you take verses and cling on to those verses and and speak confidence into your life you know uh, it's so easy for a man to accept some challenging task or do anything very uh, beyond a supernatural ability but when it comes to a woman right we think about so many things should i or should i not take how will i be able to do it all the risk factor calculation everything happens but this morning i encourage you dear women uh, be confident god has kept you in the place where you are right now he does not want you to be a failure he has not kept there so that he uh, he's not brought you out and brought you till this place so that he he should take you back again to where you are but he brought you out to a promised land he will keep you he will sustain you just be confident if you're not, you know what happens when you don't have confidence you get frustrated how many of you know what frustration is you come back at the end of the day you feel like pulling down everything and uh, you know frustration because you just you uh, you just didn't have the confidence to go on but god wants you just pray that god give me the confidence and the next one thing is very important you need to be very cheerful and happy you know at the end of the day the husband comes back home and i've seen many times that you know the wife goes ah oh, you have come and then sometimes i think why can't they just smile and say hi how are you oh so what we are seeing him every day what big deal about smiling and welcoming but you know a cheerful heart is a good medicine to us and it's a good medicine to our all around us you know you, i have seen in my life that when i am happy the entire family is happy when i am sad even though they don't have reasons to be sad they are also sad you know you know you understand that they don't they don't have anything to be sad but they are sad just because the wife or the woman in the house is sad just let god just pray every day god give me a cheerful heart i want i want to rise up above all these things one by one and come up above everything and be cheerful and one more thing is god expects a woman a godly woman to be humble all right so uh, you know you would have to go through diff- go through different people probably you have to go through your in-laws your husband your parents or whomever but god expects you to stay humble and live for the glory of the lord if I, you you know about humility right you all have different meanings of the word humility but as the holy spirit start asking the holy spirit god i want to be humble i want to accept things in the right way i want to accept criticisms in the right manner and you know god will start leading you and the final thing that i want to say is you need to serve god right how long are we just going to live in this world thinking about you know my husband my daughter my job my money how much did i save what house am i going to buy the, the person in office uh, you know talks about how much money they can save oh and what am i doing about it you know that's enough the world has seen enough of selfish people around the world has seen enough of people who are um, uh, so uh, uh, i don't know self centered who only want things for themselves but why don't we women rise up it's 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 about it's beating the natural world but rise up about what how others are come up about your self centeredness the church is the best place to serve god where else can you go to serve god but come to the church you can you can do anything you want serve people you can just go and say hello sister and you know wish somebody and say you're looking nice today i pray that god will bless you you know probably the other person would have come very sad that day but you know that's that's a small thing that you uh, that uh, you know the encouragement that you brought but one more thing is serving god does not come without paying a price okay you 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 have come home you are tired you are extremely tired and somebody says come and clean the house of god it's now a, a battle between your moods do you want to really come and uh, sweep this whole place or do you want to take uh, you know i need some time for myself and sit at home it's a choice that you make it's a price that you pay but nobody who has paid the price has God has become uh, a loser or has gone wanting but God has been raising them raising them raising them up God is a very good God 
you know this is all that i want to say and uh, you know my mom always tells that you know if um, uh she's she always talk, gives me examples about how, how, some of the very blessed or blessed men of god or blessed people in the world are some of those who have treated their wives very well so she always says that you can take it wives all wives you can take it to your husband so she always tells that to me if the husband treats the wife very well because they are the same body right so if the husband knows to treat the wife very well respect love and cherish her and you know the god will start raising them up i've also seen many things like this in their life you know husbands can sometimes be nice to the whole world but when it comes to their own wife you know they take them for granted but understand that the for the wife the rest of the world cannot satisfy but only that husband's one smile or one thing can make her feel so important and so this women's day uh, all that you want to encourage women that you know you are not a loser you have not gone down you have not uh, lost anything but god wants to raise you up that's why we have a beautiful fellowship here called something beautiful you can be a part of us 